We commonly, very commonly, have patients call us or come to see us for pain with sitting. They might say their tailbone hurts or simply their butt hurts when they sit and they can't sit for a while. Oftentimes, those are patients where you walk in the exam room and they're just standing. They won't even want to sit on the exam table or anywhere for more than a few minutes because it hurts too bad and they have to stand back up anyway. There are multiple causes for this that I want to go over today. So for starters, if we look here, this is just bony anatomy of the pelvis. So to orient you, this is your tailbone right here called your coccyx. And then you have your sacrum, and these are the vertebrae that go up your spine. These big bones here work, um, they connect to the uh, sacrum, excuse me, to make the sacroiliac joint. And then down here, you have what's called your ischial tuberosities, and these are the bones that you actually sit on. Pain with sitting, um, commonly what we'll see, it actually can be from injuries to tissues at this ischial tuberosity or the sits bones or at the tailbone or even up at these sacroiliac joints. Here, what we've added to this graphic is all the soft tissue that work to connect all of those structures. So as you can see here, your uh, tailbone is buried deep in here under these soft tissues. These are your sits bones and then your sacrum and that sacroiliac joint are all here with this connective tissue. Now let's say you're someone that was maybe in an accident or you played a lot of sports um, and you've you know, injured your low back, you've injured this pelvis, this tailbone area, and it really hurts to sit. Now you might try physical therapy, you might try rest, maybe even before that, try rest, ice, taking it easy, go to physical therapy, may even try cortisone shots, you know, steroid shots into the tissues or the joints. And if you aren't better, if you've, you know, what we say failed, all of those, you'll need further workup to determine what's causing your injury. In a lot of cases that we see in patients, again, that have failed all of these therapies, they actually can have ligament damage or ligament injuries to all these, they're colored white here, all these ligaments that work to support and stabilize and hold your pelvis together. So let's say you're someone, you know, you maybe fell on your tailbone, didn't break it, or maybe you did break it, but the break healed well, but you're still left with all this pain. All of these soft tissues from that force of the fall, or again, if you're an athlete and you've you know, done maybe a lot of damage to your body here, all of these soft tissues can get injured in any of those cases. And what happens is these tissues you can see are white compared to this muscle that's red. These ligaments, these tissues don't have a great blood supply naturally in our body. And so even if you're resting, you know, you're trying to do all the things that you should to get your injury to heal, because of the lack of blood flow, it may not heal to 100%. A lot of studies that they do on ligament healing are actually in the knee, not the pelvis, and what they're finding is that ligaments, you know, maybe they heal back to 70, 80% of their potential. In some people, that might be fine, but if you're an athlete, if you're an active person, if you like to do exercise and, and just you know, do other things, you're gonna need more strength in those tissues, and this can be a missed cause of these chronic tailbone and um, sits bone or, or, or butt pain uh, patients. Also what should be considered in the evaluation is that pain can radiate between structures. So you can have injuries to the tissues up here that radiate down your leg or radiate down you know, towards that bottom of your butt area. So in order to help you know, these patients that are suffering from this chronic pain that have failed all these therapies, a really thorough physical exam, often an ultrasound exam too, is warranted to determine if they are suffering from ligament laxity and ligament injury in the pelvis.